Welcome back to a bonus episode of our Let's Build a Jeep Garage. In this episode, we're revisiting this space, but making it derelict, overgrown, just how it looked in the recent films. Now to start, we simply just had to remove the Jeep from the outside of the garage and put it back inside, and then clear up those tire tracks we made in the last episode. Next, it was time to get to work on the front of the garage itself. And what I'm kind of doing here is just randomly removing blocks here and there, adding vines, moving some of the trap doors around, generally just making it feel more derelict piece by piece, not trying to go too much with it because we still want it to feel like an interesting build, but also making it look like it's really had its time out here in the jungle. Now what you can see me doing is all those blocks that I've removed from the front, I've actually started placing on the floor to make it look as if they've actually fallen into this space. And to really emphasize that this jungle is taken over, I've then deleted some of the blocks at the front of the garage there and had the grass start growing in through the doorway. Once we're happy with the outside, it was time to come inside and start making some changes here. Firstly, you can see me removing all those details from the top of the rafters and then the lanterns we placed in the first episode. This is ready to burst this hole in the roof here and let plenty of natural light back into this space. Ready for Josh to start on some of the interior details. All right, so to start, we're going to look at adding some vines above the rafters. I'm being careful here not to overdo it and add too many, as we don't really want to obscure all those details that we added in the previous episode. Once that's done, I'm going to move to the back and copy what we did for the main entrance by adding some grass that slowly started to grow in over the years. As it's quite a narrow entrance, we want to make the grass reach in a little bit further and have it branch off in a few directions as you can see here. We're then going to follow this up with some bone meal, making sure to get rid of any flowers that pop up, and adding some extra high grass in places to make it feel a lot more dense and, and like a jungle. Next, it's time to add some aging to the jeeps. We're going to start by replacing some of the stairs that make up the front and the rear of the vehicle with some mossy stone brick stairs. To finish off this particular jeep, we're going to simply drop some of the under trim made up of iron trap doors to the floor. For the second jeep, I'm just quickly digging below to get a good angle to replace the wheel with a grindstone. This will make for a really nice looking stripped wheel as you'll see here. Then I'm going to move on to the back of the jeep and just do some more aging like we did for the first one. This is going to be using some mossy stone brick stairs to replace the entire rear of the vehicle. And then like earlier, we're just going to drop a bit more of the under trim. Now it's time for me to come in and work on some more overgrown details. First, I'm just using some jungle leaves and placing them at each of the corners of the garage. Again, just trying to emphasize the fact that the jungle has made its way within this space. Next, it was time to use some of the techniques we'd use on the entrance, which is to take any of the blocks that have fallen from the roof and just place them on the floor as that extra bit of detail. To finish off the roof, we're going to be adding some extra details in the way of mossy stone brick blocks and also some cracked bricks around where the roof has collapsed in to show some signs of stress. For the rest of the roof, we we'll use a mixture of mossy stone slabs and also some cracked bricks to give an uneven and worn down look that really comes together when you take a step back. Moving back inside, I want to add some finishing touches to the pulley system. We'll do this by removing the end and then extending the chain before re-adding the grindstone in a way that looks like it had fallen to the floor over time. With those final details in place, it nicely brings us to the end of this let's build. We've had a blast working on all the different versions of this garage, the jeeps, the interior, and now this fully overgrown version, perfect for anybody working on a Jurassic world. As always, thanks for watching. We've got a brand new let's build in the works, so don't forget to like and subscribe to catch that soon.